All right, this is my sister, Chesta. Where were you from? Were you born and raised? I was born and raised in, I was born in Tampa, Florida. I was raised in South Florida. Hallelujah. And the Straightway Truth Ministry has brought us together and she's been a great friend of mine ever since. But I just found out today, how, well, how long have you been a part of Straightway Truth? Oh, goodness. Four years? Four years. And I just found out that you used to have MS. Yes, ma'am. Which tell this audience, what is MS? I was diagnosed with multiple sclerosis when I had my middle son, 2003, also diagnosed with fibromyalgia at the same time. Then it's a muscular nerve disease where you get a lot of muscle spasms, um, a lot of nerve pain, muscle pain. Sometimes um, you'll have like Charlie horses all over your whole body. Um, very, very painful. Used to be on all kinds of medication for it. I used to be on antidepressants. I was on Percocets or hydrocodones. I was on anti-seizure medications um, and all kinds of muscle relaxers, like three muscle relaxers at a time. And you um, are a nurse, or you I, are. You know, I you're certified. So interesting that they couldn't really help you other than maintain. Right? That was it. I went the traditional way. And so when you told me today, I used to have, tell me how it came about to the point you are now where it's no longer around, like you're free from it. What happened? Well, it was the in the beginning of us searching for the truth. I um, was having a really bad day. What we call an exacerbation is when everything just gets like really bad and I'd have like Charlie horses all over my whole body. And I go in and take hot soaks because it would relax the muscle, but then as soon as I get out, it'd make me have worse spasms. So I'd have to instantly pull my body back down. And I started asking all my friends to pray for me. And of course, they're typical Christians. And one of my CNAs that worked under me, um, she said I needed to, <laughs> sorry, get right with God. And I was like, well, what do you mean? And she had been healed of stage four cancer before. And um, she told me if I truly was following God, as she called him, um, the way I should have, that I wouldn't be suffering like I was. And I knew she was, um, she kept the Sabbath and she didn't follow holidays. She kept holy days. So I started listening to her because she had been healed of cancer. And then um, Brett at that same time was searching and had found pastor. And um, I don't even know exactly when it was. I just, you know, woke up one day and I didn't need what we call PRN medication anymore. I didn't need to take my as needed pain medication. And then the next day I was like, wow, I'm having another good day. I haven't had two good days in I don't know when and I didn't need my PRN medication. And then I started saying, well, maybe I don't even need my scheduled medication anymore. I stopped taking my pain medications and my seizure medications and all the medication I used to be on. And like the third or fourth day, I went to Brother Brett and I said, Brother Brett, have you been laying hands on me? And he said, yes, ma'am. Hallelujah. And it's been, about three and a half, four years now, I have been pain-free, symptom-free. I haven't been on any medication in years. It's been such a blessing. And so really you would just attribute it not only to him laying hands on you, which is what the word requires, but just a change in heart too. Just you coming to the truth of the Sabbath day, coming to the truth of the Messiah. What else? Some of the changes you made in your heart uh, and lifestyle. We changed everything from, you know, practicing holidays to celebrating holy days eating clean, um, following the commands, um, it, total change, total change total in lifestyle change. and it set you free. Yes, what a beautiful testimony. I really appreciate you sharing any other concluding words, <laughs> anything you can think of. I don't know. He heals Hallelujah. I hear all the time. Yes. He, he, do, he doesn't want to heal me. And I tell people all the time as a nurse, no, it's not that he doesn't want to heal. It's that you don't want to meet the conditions. That's a good healed. word. You don't want to meet the conditions to be healed. Thank you so much for sharing, my sister and mother Chester. Bless, Bless you. you. Shalom.